When I woke up, I was a hippopotamus by Tom McRae and Ross Collins. When I woke up, I was a hippopotamus by Tom McRae and Ross Collins. When I woke up, I was a hippopotamus. Yawning in the morning, I raised up my sleepy head, then took one look out the window and got straight back into bed. Get up, said mom, or you'll be late. But hippos in their sludge don't get up in the morning, so I didn't budge. At breakfast, I was a robot. My tummy wasn't hungry. I wasn't programmed how to eat. My mouth was made of metal like my nose and knees and feet. Quick, quick, said Dad. Come on, eat up. We've really got to scoot. But robots can't eat cornflakes. Dad's words did not compute. When it was time to go to school, I was a statue. I couldn't move a muscle. I couldn't blink an eye. I couldn't lift a finger. I couldn't breathe a sigh. Mom pushed, then pulled. Dad pulled, then pushed. They heaved with all their might, but my legs were made of granite. And my feet were stuck down tight. When I got to school, I was a monkey, a cheeky little monkey. Thought a table was a tree. I had to climb upon it just to see what I could see. I couldn't sit and listen, and my work was rather slack. Then the teacher scolded me and made me sit in the back. When it was playtime, I was a monster, a scritchy, scratchy monster with 10 scritchy, scratchy claws. I had 50 scritchy, scratchy teeth and scritchy, scratchy jaws. The girls all screamed. The boys all ran. My mouth went munchy crunch. Then the teacher scolded me again. So I had her for my lunch. When it was time to go home, I was a rocket ship. I zoomed up out of orbit. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. I was nearly reaching light speed. Poor old dad, he had to run. My pistons pumped, my jetpacks jumped, and all full of super fuel. I had to get to planet home and far from planet school. When I was in my bedroom, I was a giant. My hands were huge as houses. My beard was big and blue. I was hunting for a human to put in my human stew. I was crashing around my bedroom. Well, that's just how giants play. We're big and loud and noisy, and we don't know any other way. But mom and dad weren't happy, and they yelled out, Keep it down! But my giant feet were busy as they crushed a tiny town. That's it, cried mom and dad. You're louder than ten boys. And they stomped upstairs to scold me for making so much noise. When mom and dad came in, they were dragons. They snarled and growled and stamped and howled, and they nearly broke the door. Their wings caught in the curtains, and their tails scratched on the floor. Dad blew a giant smoke ring with an angry, rumbling cough. Mom wagged a scaly finger until I thought it would fall off. I stared up at my mom and dad and didn't feel so brave. I was having fun pretending. I didn't mean to misbehave. Of all the wondrous things said, Mom that you pretend to be why can't you be a nice thing so i pretended i was me we had a lovely evening i helped my dad with tea then i read my mama's story as i sat upon her knee at bath time we played pirates and we plotted pirate schemes then i snuggled in my blanket and dreamed amazing dreams